What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy, Silly Cell, and we back in here with another episode of Juice City Legends. If you have not, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. All right, gang, before we get started, man, I want to give a shout out to all my supporters, all my subscribers. Man, y'all keep hitting them like buttons, man. Y'all keep on sharing, man. Y'all run me up, man. Y'all run me up, man. I'm going to turn over job, man. We about to start giving back to the people. You know what I'm saying? We about to get it popping, man. Anybody need promo, interviews, man, y'all hit the email. With that being said, let's get it. All right, gang, we got to get into this situation, man, with the baby versus OTF. OTF is the label or click or whatever that little dirt in. Now, how in the world did this all start, man? Okay, the baby and young NBA young boy released a joint project together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and for everybody who don't know, everybody who been sleeping on the rock, NBA young boy is kind of being blackballed right now. Uh, a lot of people that's a fan of Lil Durk and King Von, they not rocking with young boy right now. A lot of people in the industry had chose sides. They chose to pick sides for whatever reason. And uh, Lil Durk and them, they got a lot of people on their side. But the one person that stood down with NBA Youngboy was the baby. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, they released the project that came out last week. From what I was seeing, uh, the, it was another album that also came out during this time. That album would be an album by the late, great King Von from Chicago and O'Block. And ever since King Von died, a lot of people feel like if NBA Youngboy because they had a beef, I guess, but I don't really call it a beef. And we all know that King Von was signed to OTF and Lil Durk. Okay, so Lil Durk has chosen to take on King Von's beef. And this beef right here is getting out of hand. It's reminding me of the Tupac and Biggie situation when they made two whole coasts go against each other. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, Lil Durk, he was supposed to release an album a month ago on the same day as NBA Youngboy. He did it. NBA Youngboy did 75K the whole week. Lil Durk put his album back. Now he on the internet saying he dare somebody to drop on his date. But that's a whole nother story, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, it's just been getting out of hand ever since all that popped off, man. You know what I mean? And uh, everybody mad at the baby right now, you know what I'm saying? But I can't see why would they be mad at him when he was already doing songs with NBA Youngboy before King Von died. And like I say, God bless the, the dead. King Von, he was a stepper. He was hard on that mic. But King Von was no saint. King Von dissed people. In my opinion, I feel like King Von was kind of picking on young boy. You know what I'm saying? He started trolling young boy. Now, we all know King Von is, is from Chicago. Young boy from Louisiana. So they really weren't even around each other. These guys had started having small disagreements about internet boppers, man. You know what I'm saying? And King Von decided to put his hands on Quando Rondo. We all know what happened. Lil Tim did what he had to do. You know what I mean? So now everybody mad at Quando Rondo, 4K Trey, Lil Tim, because a stepper got stepped on. You know what I'm saying? And I guess they think the baby is not supposed to do something with young boy. You know what I'm saying? But the baby, he the type of guy, he his own artist, man. He his own man. And he, I applaud him, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of click riding going on. So I can't see how a beef between two dudes, they really weren't even beefing. They weren't really beefing when, they were, when King Von was living. I feel like the internet was trying to make them beef or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And like, from why, when I seen it, King Von, he was trolling young boy, man, you know what I'm saying? But what y'all made that young boy about is he ain't going to back down, man, you know what I'm saying? So some dude named Mimo 600, man, y'all got to, Remind me who these dudes is, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a fan of Lil Durk and a few dudes from Chicago. Well, I ain't going to even say Chicago. I like a lot of people from Chicago music, but I'm saying the drill movement. I know what big on the drill movement, but some dude named 600, Mimo 600 or whatever his name, he decided to take shots at the baby. because when the album that what was released by the baby came out, it only did 35,000 35, uh, sales the first week. King Von album, it did 65,000 uh, 
unit soul. You know what I'm saying? But what you got to understand about that, man, King Von, he, he not here no more. You know what I'm saying? Lil Dirk was scared to drop his album the same day as Young Boy. You know what I'm saying? So he pushed it back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and we already know, man, due to the death of King Von, that his album was going to do numbers. So this dude, Mimo 600, decided to try to troll the baby. Talking about, don't blame the baby. He thought that man was going to save your career. Excuse me, man, but when did the, baby, did the baby fall off? Last time I checked, the baby was one of the biggest artists in the game, man. This man on festivals. This man getting almost a million dollars a show. This man, every album he didn't drop, platinum. You know what I'm saying? He one of the biggest streaming artists in the game right now. Who would this dude 600 Breezy? Not 600 Breezy, my bad, 600. But uh, Mimo 600. Who is he to try to talk about the baby, man? You know what I'm saying? So the baby let it happen. The baby said, man, look, bro, I try to stay quiet about this. I try to keep it clear, man. But y'all little town boy, dudes want to try to get some clout off King Von name. You know what I'm saying? The baby said he had respect for King Von. You know what I'm saying? Because he stood on business, but it was somebody else out there that, that was on the same time he was on or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He told old boy, me most 600. Man, I wake up every day itching. Waiting to teach a clown like you a lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? He say, he also said, y'all must not be on the same page over there, man. Because while you on here on the internet capping, your big dog in my DM waving the white flag, man. His big dog, who he talking about, is Lil Dirt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, nah, boy, that, that dude didn't like that. So he went and got into getting his feelings, talking about the truth hurt, all this and that. You know what I'm saying? But my, my understanding, my thing is, when did the baby fall off, bro? He went through the little situation where they tried to counsel them. They can't counsel that man. That man is a star, man. You know what I'm saying? This dude, me, my 600, boy, you finna sign with whack 100, bro. You lame. So, after the dude, me, my 600, did the baby, some dude named Cowboy. Y'all gotta remind me who. I don't know these guys, man. Like I say, I don't mean no disrespect, but I couldn't tell you one song with these guys. But anyway, this dude, Cowboy, I guess he owes OTF, a Chicago rapper, too. He got on the internet talking about out of respect for King Von, he would never do a song with Young Boy. I listen to that. Then he went on live crying, talking about the baby playing victim. How that man ain't playing victim. Y'all do trying to get clout off the man's name, bro. Like I said, rest in peace to King Von. But King Von was trolling. Y'all get mad when somebody get their lick back, when somebody handle their business, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't get mad at nobody. Hey, everybody not gonna be scared of uh, King Von. Everybody not scared of Chicago. Everybody not scared of Old Block. There's no disrespect to Chicago, Old Block, none of that. But we just gotta be real, man. Everybody doing the same thing in every city, bro. I don't know why y'all think Chicago dude just harder than everybody else, man. You know what I'm saying? It's kept, man. It, it just it ain't how it going. Y'all think the baby soft because of the videos he doing all that, man. That man smart, man. You know what I'm saying? He He's not in the box. He's one of the only artists that got street cred, but also got pop appeal. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talking about he sold his soul because he was in the diaper. It's Southwest by Southwest. He's the baby. You know what I'm saying? Booster College and them, all them guys, they, they did stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? What, what pampers and all that on the stage or whatever. But what's the difference in somebody wearing a diaper than you talking about killing and, and drilling every song you come out with? That ain't selling your soul? Because last time I checked, that was, that was safe music, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to get out y'all feeling, man. And like I say, I done been in Chicago, man. I got so much family from Chicago, man. I know Chicago got stubbles, bro. I know y'all got killers. But guess what, man? The same thing going on in every city. Boy, I done been to Charlotte. I done been to South, South, uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Them boys ain't playing in Chuck Town, man. Everybody got stubbles, man. Y'all got to realize that. Everybody, everywhere it's a ghetto. The same thing going on. That's, that's not a good thing either, man. But everybody's stepping. Everybody drilling. You know what I'm saying? Chicago ain't no harder than nowhere else, man. You know what I'm saying? If for a little dirt, man, you need to get your you need to get your tire boys in check, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause they got you looking bad out here, man. Well, I ain't gonna say that. Cause dirt winning right now. Before this war, man, you so busy trying to prove to the fans that you gonna slide for fun, man. You know what I'm saying? When at the end of the day, if we got to be real about it, man, King Von was in the wrong, bro. He had no business putting his hands on Quando. You know what I'm saying? If you put your hands on somebody, man, they got the right to defend themselves. 
You know what I'm saying? King Von had a problem with young boy over Janiyah, them girls, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's other dude piping them down. You know what I'm saying? King Von died over some nonsense. And Lil Dirk, you got the power to kill all that. But you too busy trying to prove to everybody that you a Chirac demon, man. And I got love for King, for King Von. I got love for Lil Dirk. I've been a fan of Lil Dirk since 2010 when you had this song, this is what, this is what, this ain't what they want. You know what I'm saying? And I always had respect for him because he made himself stand out when all them other drill rappers was sounding like Chief Keith, man. So, Lil Dirk, you got the power, man. You can do something about it, bro. So, you can fall under pressure, trying to let these fans, you know what I'm saying, hype you up to go do something to young boy and crash out and lose it all, man. You know what I'm saying? Forget the fans, man. They be little kids on the internet Hyping y'all up, man. You know what I'm saying? To kill one another. Both of y'all black men. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all come from the ghetto. Come from nothing. They came up making millions of dollars. It can go either way, man. You know what I'm saying? Tupac and Biggie died. Nobody won in that situation. Y'all got to remember that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to remember that, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's on you, man. And for the baby, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the baby got the right to stand in the ground, man. You know what I'm saying? The baby be out here getting his money. He doing his shows. He dropping hits. You know what I'm saying? That man ain't got to run for now one of y'all, bro. Y'all know the baby ain't going. Y'all already know. That's not to make it seem like the baby the harder dude. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, we already know. Every time the baby get in a situation, the baby them standing on something. Business, man. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get on you. They gonna get on your head, man. With that being said, this your boy Silly Cell with Juice City Legend. We checking out. Peace.